This is the video on endorphins. You've probably heard of many exogenous opioid drugs, like Vicodin, Percocet, or Oxycontin. Maybe when you got your wisdom teeth out, you even prescribed some. These are known for their analgesic properties, or their ability to block pain, and contain morphines. Unfortunately, opioids are some of the most addictive substances, so it's a good thing our bodies have some naturally occurring pain modulators of our own. Endorphin comes from endogenous, meaning from the body, and morphine, meaning pain reliever. Essentially, endorphins are the neuropeptides that are made by the brain and are our natural painkillers. Endorphins are endogenous opioid peptides and therefore function as both hormones and neurotransmitters. The opioid class, which also contains enkephalins and dynorphins, was named for the receptors they bind to. These receptors were named after opium, the first drug that was found to bind there. Since endorphins operate closely to exogenous opioids, they have similar pain-reducing effects. But unlike unnatural opioids, endorphins do not result in addiction. The pituitary gland secretes an obscure hormone called beta-lipotropin. This can differentiate into three different polypeptides, alpha, beta, and gamma endorphins. Though these are the specific endorphins, the word can also be a general term for endogenous opioids, which are formed in many places in the brain and spinal cord. They are derived from inactive pre-propeptides, which stem from specific genetic sequences. There are over 20 opioid peptides. These endorphins are released when the body is under stress or in pain. Endorphins are responsible for minimizing pain and maximizing pleasure. Like dopamine, endorphins are part of our reward circuit and they are released during many activities, from eating and drinking to physical exercise. They also play a role in sexual intercourse and childbirth. Endorphins reduce our pain. As mentioned earlier, they act like other opioids. Opioid receptors, mu, delta, and kappa, are all inhibitory receptors, meaning that when an opioid binds to it, it decreases the signal trying to reach threshold, preventing the neuron from firing. Since they block nociceptors from firing, the brain doesn't process any pain that your peripheral nerves might be sensing. The power of endorphins' analgesic properties is exhibited in childbirth. Childbirth is incredibly painful, but studies show that women with higher levels of naturally produced beta-endorphin do not need as much exogenous pain medication. Endorphins also help regulate our pleasure responses. High levels of physical activity release endorphins. This is what is responsible for the runner's high or why people use exercise to blow off steam after a stressful day at work. Endorphins are also responsible for releasing sex hormones, modulating food intake, and have been connected to boosting the immune system. Other studies have shown that high levels of endorphins aid in battling depression, help regulate anxiety, and can even boost self-esteem. Though they occur naturally in the body, certain foods can help boost our endorphin levels. Dark chocolate, chili peppers or other spicy foods, and fruits like oranges, strawberries, and grapes all boost the body's production of endorphins. This is probably why we eat chocolate or spicy Thai food during finals week, to help manage our stress and increase pleasure. This ends the video on endorphins.